Welcome to Electra Line and in the celebration of the Pi Day, March 14th, we're going to take another look and see how in ancient history, people that were actually pretty clever found ways to try and calculate the number Pi. They realized that Pi was a special number and it was the ratio of the circumference of the circle divided by the diameter of the circle. So what they did, and Archimedes, and I did not spell that correctly, let me try to spell that correctly. Archimedes, back in about 250 BC, he devised a methodology where he took a circle, he inscribed a rectangle, and then he circumscribed the circle with a rectangle. And then he went to an, hexag an hexagon, six sides, inside and outside, and in each case he would calculate the circumference of the rectangle, which was smaller than the circumference of the circle, and then the circumference of the outside rectangle, in this case a square, and that was then bigger than the, than the circumference. So he knew that the circumference of the circle had to lie somewhere between those two values. Then he took a six-sided polygon, and then he took a 12-sided, and then he kept on going, and he calculated all the way out to 96-sided polygon to come up with a pretty accurate value for the number pi. So let's show you how that actually works. So here you can see that the diagonal of the square inside is equal to the diameter of the circle. And this is the side on the inside, so what is the ratio between the diameter and the side inside? And we can say that the diameter is equal to the square root of 2 times the side on the inside. So that means that the circumference on the inside is equal to 4 times the side on the inside, and the side on the inside is equal to the diameter divided by the square root of 2, which means that the inside circumference of that square is therefore equal to 4 divided by the square root of 2 times the diameter, and let's find out what it is equal to. So we take 4 divided by the square root of 2, and we get 2.828. So this, this gives us 2.828 times the diameter, which compared to the number pi 3.14 is really not that bad of an estimate. So what is the circumference of the outside circumference of that rectangle? Well, here we realize that the outside side is equal to the diameter of the, of the um, circle, so therefore the outside side is equal to the diameter, and so therefore the outside circumference is 4 times the outside side, which is 4 times the diameter, which means that Archimedes knew that the circumference of the circle was somewhere, the ratio of the, of the circumference divided by the diameter was somewhere between 2.828 and 4. That's not too good, so let's go to a hexagon and see what we get with a hexagon. So if you look at the inside circumference of a hexagon, notice that these are 6 equal triangles, and not only that, all three sides are the same, that means there are six equilateral triangles. And notice that one of the sides is equal to exactly half the diameter. So the side is equal to one half the diameter, and then if we add up the six outside sides, you know that the circumference on the inside of the, of the uh, circle is equal to six times the side on the inside, which is equal to 6 times a half diameter, which is equal to 3 diameter. So here you can see that the ratio of the circumference to diameter is 3. Again, a value that's fairly close to 3.14. What about the outside? Well, the outside is a little bit more complicated. So if you draw a hexagon on the outside, notice then that you again end up with 6 equal triangles or 6 equilateral triangles. Then if you draw a diagonal from the inside of the circle to the base of each of the triangle, like, let me try one more over here, so you can see this one. So from there to there, and then you repeat this triangle over here so you can take a little better look at it. Notice that this distance right here, which is equal to the diameter of the circle divided by 2, and then this is the base of the triangle, and notice that this is therefore half the base of the triangle, and now we know that the ratio of a triangle that looks like this, where this is half the size of the, uh, of the side, like this, that means this is half, then this has to be the square root of 3 over 2. So the ratio of this distance divided by this distance must be 1 half divided by the square root of 3 over 2, which is 1 divided by the square root of 3. Now what we can say is that the circumference on the outside is therefore 6 times 
the base of the triangle. And then here we can see that the base divided by the diameter, oh, and let me rewrite that here, so that the base divided by the diameter is equal to 1 divided by the square root of the 3, which means that the base is equal to the diameter times 1 divided by the square root of 3. So 6 times the base is therefore equal to 6 times 1 divided by the square root of 3 times the diameter. So therefore, this is equal to, and 6 divided by the square root of 3 is equal to 3.46 times the diameter. So here you can see that by using a hexagon, we can calculate the circumference of a circle to be somewhere between 3 times the diameter and 3.46 times the diameter. So if we take the average of that, so we go 3.46, that's 0.46 divided by 2. So the average value in that case is equal to uh, 3.23. So that's really not that bad. Now we can do it again when we take 12 sides and 24 sides and eventually all the way up to 96 sides and that is what Archimedes did. He went ahead and calculated where he had um, where we had the 96-sided polygon, a lot of calculations by hand, and so he eventually then realized that the upper limit was 22 divided by 7. And if we take 22 divided by 7, 22 divided by 7, that gives us a value of 3.14285, and compare that to the value over here, and he knew that that was the upper limit based on a 96-sided polygon. So you can see where the 22 over 7 ratio came from. It came from more than 2,000 years ago with a very clever technique and then going to a greater and greater number of sided polygon to finally calculate the upper and lower limit of the circumference of a circle. And notice how close we got to doing that with some very simple geometry. Well, simple geometry, very difficult to do, of course. Archimedes figured out very accurately the circumference of a circle down to two decimal places. An amazing feat, 2,000, more than 2,000 years ago.